Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get free unlimited RDP using .joes. Yes, you heard that right and limited remote desktop access for free. Let's get started. Now, open Google Chrome and search for Oz. Click on the cloud computing service for Amazon. You'll see that Amazon offers a free tier. Click on Get Started for free and then create an account. Wait for the website to load. Once it does, we'll see a box prompting you to enter your account name to sign up for AOS. I'm using my Gmail account, so copy your Gmail address and paste it into the AOS account email box. Enter any random account name you like. Next, copy the code that is sent to you and paste it into the signup field. Then, click on Verify. After that, choose a strong random password that you won't forget. Make sure the password meets AWS recommendations and click Continue. IWS will then offer you You have completed all these steps. You will be signed in to Amazon. After signing in, click on EC2 to load the dashboard. Once the dashboard loads, click on Launch Instance. Wait for the page to load completely and, in the Name and Tag section, enter a random name for your web server. I'm naming mine Free RRDP. Next, choose Windows from the Quick Start menu. After selecting Windows, we will be using the RRDP client. On the Amazon matching image, click on it and choose any machine image you want. I recommend the 2025 Amazon AWS Firebase image, but you could also choose the 2025 Core Base image. Once you select the image, wait for the site to load so that the configurations, architecture, and mid are all verified and ready to go. The next step is to choose your instance. Amazon only offers the T3 dot small option for the free tier as it is the only option available under the free tier policy. You can choose any instance type if your billing status or if you are using Amazon Activate for startups permits. But for now, we'll stick with the free tier option. There are many virtual machines available, some with up to 64 CPUs and plenty of RAM. But today, we're using the free option. After choosing your machine image, create a key pair by clicking on Create Key Pair and choose a name for your key pair. I'm using free RRDP for my key pair. Click on P8 keypad and save the key pair file to your computer. This is very important because you will use it later to decrypt your Windows password. After saving the key pair, click on allow HTTPS. Traffic from the internet. Next, choose the storage you want. I will use the free eligible 30 gigabyte storage option. Make sure to cross-check everything, and then click on Launch Instance. It may take a few minutes for the instance to launch. Once your instance is launched, click on it to open its details. The instance may still be loading since it is new. After it loads, click on the instance ID to see that a public IP address has been assigned. Now click on Connect. When you click Connect, you will see an option that says RRDP Client. It's exactly what we want since we need unlimited free RDP access. Click on Downloads. After clicking Downloads, an option will appear asking you to decrypt the private key that you generated earlier. Load your key pair file and click on Decrypt Password. This will decrypt the password for the Windows R RDP client. We will be using now open the free RRDP client you just downloaded and click Continue. The client will open and prompt you for a password. 
copy the displayed password and type or paste it into the password field exactly. Once you have entered the password, click on OK. If any warnings or error messages appear, simply click Yes or skip as needed. At this point, you will see that the virtual machine running the free RRDP client has opened. You'll notice that we are using Windows 11, and as you can see, the processor is Intel with 16 gigabytes of ROM, depending on the virtual machine you chose earlier during installation. With this free RDP client, you can do a lot of things. Now, let's test the network capabilities. Click on fast.com and observe the speeds the RRDP client should be offering speeds of up to 1 GBPs, which is over 1000 megabits per second. Then, open speedtest.net and click go. I'm seeing speeds up to 2000 megabits per second, and even the upload speed reaches around 1600 megabits per second. It's incredibly fast, free, and reliable. You can also load YouTube to see that the operating system is fully functional. To complete, Windows 11 operating system with all storage and features intact. This is a great option for a free RDP client provided by Amazon Web Services. And that's it for today's tutorial on how to get free unlimited RDP using AWS. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell for more tutorials. Leave your questions and comments below, I'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.